Today, Peppa and her playgroup are doing a fun run to raise money for a new school bell. Is everybody ready to run? Ready. OK. On your marks, get set, go! <laughs> oh. oh dear, it has started to rain and nobody oh. wants to run in the rain. Should we do the race another day when it's not so cloudy and rainy? Except for Pepper. But the rain will make the fun run even more fun. There'll be so many oh. muddy puddles. Yay! All right. That means on your marks again, get set again, and go again. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> the rain has made a small puddle on the running track. But Rebecca Rabbit is very good at jumping. I did it! Oh. Oops! <laughs> Sorry, Rebecca. <laughs> That's OK, Peppa. Oh. Oh. Come along, you two. Lots of race to go. <laughs> the wind is making it hard for Susie and Mummy Sheep to climb the hill. <laughs> the wind is too strong. And the hill is too slippery. Aha! Uh -huh. Ah! Emily Elephant is very good at pulling things with her trunk. The way down looks very muddy. Yep, so it's fun to slide down. And Whee! Peppa is very good at sliding in the mud. Whee! <laughs> Whee! <laughs> Peppa and Daddy Pig have arrived at the ah. big trees. Oh. Everyone must crawl <laughs> under the low branches to finish the race. <laughs> oh, oh, that does look fun. <laughs> Whee! Everyone has made it to the finish line. We have raised enough money to fix the school bell. Hooray! Oh. Oh. Mr. Bull will fix it tomorrow. Hooray! Did you have fun, Daddy? Daddy? Everyone loves running in the rain. Come on, Peppa. We're going again. But Daddy Pig really <laughs> loves running in the rain. <laughs> Pedro Pony, Candy Cat, Mandy Mouse, Gerald Giraffe and Danny Dog are playing football. Look, Mummy, my friends are playing football. Hello, Peppa. Do you want to play with us? Yes, please. <coughs> Whoever scores the best goal wins the trophy. Ooh. Peppa loves shiny trophies. Do you want to join our team, Peppa? No, thank you. I will play on my own. I don't think you should play on your own, Peppa. But then I can win the trophy all for myself. Peppa is going to play all on her own against everyone else. Uh, oh, dear. Good try, Peppa. Have another go. Hmm. Maybe I need to kick it harder. <gasps> um, almost. Here you go, Peppa. Maybe if I use my other foot. Whoa! Oof. You have to score with the ball, not your shoe. Squeak! Hmm, this is too hard. Why don't you have a go in goal? Good idea, Mummy. I'll be a great goalie. Whoa! Whoa! Goal! Goal! Ma, 
Mummy, why can they score a goal but I can't? Because, Peppa, football is all about teamwork. And you can't work as a team if you don't have a team in the first place. <laughs> um, can I join your team, please? Of course you can. We've got a spare shirt just for you. Woof, woof. Hooray! But who will play in goal? I will. Just you try and get past me. You scored the goal, Pedro, so you get the trophy. But we all scored the goal together, Peppa. As a team. That's right. You all win the trophy. <coughs> Hooray! <laughs> Today, Peppa and her friends are at a go-kart track. Hello, everybody. Who's ready to race go-karts? Me! 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 Oh, Peppa and her friends put on their race suits. Red is my favourite colour. Ooh! And don't forget your safety helmets. Now, let's pick your go-karts. Yay! <laughs> Danny Dog has put his helmet on backwards. <laughs> 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 now, the pedals make the go-kart go <gasps> And the brakes make it stop Eek! And the steering wheel helps the go-kart turn Whee! It's just like riding a bike Why don't you all give it a try and start pedalling slowly? I drive a big car all the time. A go-kart should be easy. Whoa! Whoa! Oh dear, I think I went a little bit too fast. Now, how do I turn around? <laughs> <laughs> the go-kart race has begun. <laughs> this is fun! But Susie Sheep is pedalling backwards. Try pedalling forwards, Susie. Forwards? Oh! <laughs> Woohoo! Danny Dog is pedalling very quickly. <gasps> Remember to use the brake, Danny. <laughs> Mummy Pig is having trouble oh. making her go-kart go. Let's see. This makes it go backwards. Do you need help, Mummy Pig? Oh, no thank you, Miss Rabbit. I'm sure I can do it. My go-kart is too wiggly. Peppa is driving all over the racetrack. Turn the steering wheel more gently, Peppa. Oh, much better. Peppa and her friends like driving around the racetrack in their go-karts. There we go! Whee! And Mummy Pig has finally got her go-kart moving. <laughs> Time's up! Well done, everybody! Hooray! But the go-kart race has finished. Oh. Peppa and her friends love racing go-karts. <laughs> Today, the cruise has stopped on an island, so Peppa and Granny Pig can go surfing. Oh. But there aren't mm. any waves. Where did all the waves go? It looks like the water is too calm for surfing today, Peppa. You can help <laughs> me and George collect shells instead, if you like. Shiny. <laughs> Oh, hello everyone! What? I have a little paddle boat if you want to try it, Peppa. Oh! Peppa is very <laughs> excited to try the paddle boat. Mm -hmm. Yes, please! 
And Granny Pig can ride with me on my jet ski. Oh. But um, Granny Pig isn't sure she'll uh, enjoy Miss Rabbit's jet ski. Uh, Pepper and Granny Pig have put on some life jackets oh. and helmets to keep safe. <laughs> now they are ready to ride on the water. Pepper's paddle boat has pedals to make it go. That's right, Pepper. Pedal forwards to make the boat move forward. <laughs> Does it go Off any we go. <laughs> <laughs> Wait for me. <laughs> Have you found any colourful <laughs> shells, George? <laughs> oh, <laughs> this one's perfect. <laughs> Wonderful! George is finding lots of <laughs> shells on oh. the beach. <laughs> How about we use the shells to make a picture? Pepper is having lots of fun out on the water. Look, <laughs> Granny! Granny's going in the But Granny Pig is looking rather seasick. <laughs> George has made a dinosaur out of shells. Ooh, dinosaur! How clever! It just needs one more special shell for the eye. Oh. <laughs> Shiny! Well <laughs> done, George. <laughs> Miss Rabbit's wave has washed George's shells back into the sea. Hello. Oh. Hello, Grandpa. Oh, dear. <laughs> but look, your special shiny shell is still here. Shiny! Wow, I like your sand dinosaur picture, George. George's <laughs> shells have left a dinosaur shape in the sand. Dinosaur! Pepper <laughs> loves having fun at the beach. Everyone loves having fun at the beach. Today is sports day at Pepper's playgroup. There is a pink team and a blue team. They're trying to win gold medals. I'm going to win. Oh, uh, whoops. Rebecca Rabbit is finding the sack race quite difficult. Emily Elephant on the pink team has won the sack race. Hooray! You're so fast. Squeak. Oh, no. I lost. You did your best. And we can still win. Oh. Now it is time for the egg and spoon race. Faster, Peppa. Squeak. But Peppa is finding it difficult to run fast and balance her egg. Peppa, don't drop the egg. Okay. <laughs> Slow down, Danny. But don't go too slow. Slower. Faster. Slower. No faster. <laughs> <laughs> no! Phew! <laughs> we did it! We won the race! It's a draw between the two teams. The next game is ring toss. Whichever team hooks the most rings onto the wooden stick will win sports day. That's one point for each team. <laughs> Another point for each team. It's still a draw. Rebecca and Freddy, it's your turn. But if I miss, we'll lose. Don't worry about winning. Just do your best. And have lots of fun. <coughs> yeah. 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 We lost. Squeak. But 
we had a lot of fun anyway. You're right, Peppa. Well done, Pink Team. You get gold medals. <laughs> and the blue team did really well too. So they get silver medals. Wow! The pink team and the blue team love sports day. Everyone loves sports day. Huh. Uh. 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 Wow! Today, Peppa and her family are visiting the arcade. You got a high score. That's because Peppa and I are experts at all of these games. Look at all these tokens, Peppa. If you collect lots of these, you can trade them in for a huge prize. Wow, a prize? Squeak! Look at all these tokens. <laughs> can we play that game next? Of course, Peppa. Mummy Pig is showing Peppa how to play Carrot Bop. She is bopping the carrots whenever they pop up. Bop! 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 <laughs> Would you both like to have a go? Yes, please! Bop! Prize, Daddy. Daddy? <laughs> Daddy Pig is playing the dancing game. Daddy Pig loves dancing. Wow. I'm a bit of an expert at dancing, you know. Your turn, Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Phew, that was fun. But is there a game we can play all together? I know just the game. <laughs> Peppa and her family are playing a balloon game. Whoever fills their balloon with water first wins. Another high score? Yes, your score was so high that you have all won the jackpot. Now you can trade in all your tokens for a huge prize. Hooray! Let's go! Hello again, Peppa. Here are all our tokens. Can we please have our prize? Of course. With this many tokens, you can get a marvellous, extraordinary, one-of-a-kind pencil. Hooray! A pencil! Peppa loves winning lots of tokens with her family at the arcade. And Peppa really loves her brand new pencil. <laughs> Today, Peppa and her friends have come to a special adventure park. Edmund, you can do it. It's really fun. Well done, Edmund. <gasps> this room has a balance beam. You have to walk across it without falling into the ball pit. If you all keep working as a team, you'll get all the way through without falling into the ball pits. I'm good at balancing. Follow me. Now, George, Pepper, and Edmund Elephant must cross the balance beam. But Edmund is finding the balance beam a bit difficult. Try going sideways, Edmund. We can do it together. Hooray! Everyone has made it across the balance beam. Now they must swing across this room. This looks tricky. It's just like the swing in the park, Emily. Watch this. Whee! Peppa is very good at swinging. Hooray! Hold on tight, George. 
Edmund? But Edmund Elephant is feeling a little nervous about it. Why don't we go together, Edmund, as a team? Good idea! Whee! Hooray! We did it! Thank you, Emily! Everyone has made it across the big swing. Good teamwork, everyone. One room to go. <laughs> This is the final Whoa. room, but there is no way across the ball pit. We can't jump that far. And there's nothing to swing on. Ho, ho, ho. This room is a bit of a puzzle. <gasps> Nobody knows how to solve the puzzle and get across. Oh. I've got it. But Edmund Elephant is very <gasps> good at puzzles. <laughs> A clever clogs, you know. <laughs> Everyone has made it through the adventure park. That was very clever, Edmund. Edmund? And Edmund Elephant can't wait to do it all over again. <laughs> Watch out! Today, Peppa and her friends are at the water park. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Miss Rabbit. Rabbit. <laughs> Before you all go swimming, I have some important rules to teach you. Miss Rabbit is telling everyone how to be safe in the swimming pool. The first rule is no splashing. <laughs> No splashing, Mr. Bull. Whoops! Sorry, Pepper. Sorry, Miss Rabbit. That's okay, Mr. Bull. The second rule is no running. <laughs> Silly, Mr. Bull. No running. Sorry again. Mr. Bull doesn't know any of the rules. And the last rule is, everyone must have a simply splendid time. Oh! Ooh. Have a splendid time, Mr Bull. Oh, ho, ho, ho! Right you are, Pepper. Enjoy the pool, everyone. What shall we do first? Let's go on the water slide. Hooray! <laughs> Everyone is very excited to ride the water slides. Hello again. Who wants to go down the slide? Me! Well, you're in luck. There is one slide for each of you. Let's have a race. Good idea. Lucky I brought my flag. On your marks, get set. And Danny Dog zooms into the lead, followed by Peppa. Then it's Gerald Giraffe and Susie Sheep coming up behind. It's incredibly close. Water slide racing at its best. Hello, Granny. Hello, Mr. Bull. <laughs> oh. The finish line! It's neck and neck! Who will come out on top? It's... A draw! Everybody wins! <laughs> Peppa and her friends love the slides, but they have forgotten the first rule of the water park. Uh -huh. <clears throat> no splashing! <laughs> <laughs> Handball! That's against the rules. Oops. Why are you blowing a whistle, Miss Rabbit? And what do those cards mean? 
I'm the referee. I blow the whistle to get attention. If someone makes a mistake, I give them a yellow card. And if someone's being a bit silly, I give them a red card. Ooh, can I be the referee? Of course. Now, Pepper is the referee. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong, Pepper? You kicked the ball too fast. Mandy missed it. But that's not against the rules. I'm the referee now, Daddy, so I say it is. Oh, dear. Pepper likes being the referee, and she really likes blowing the whistle. <laughs> Your shoelace is undone. You're not smiling. Oh! You nearly kicked that lovely flower. Pepper is finding all sorts of reasons to blow the whistle. Oh! <gasps> You're running too fast. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> You're swinging too high. Oh. Woof, woof. Your ice cream is too melty. Watch out! Oof. Can we have a go now? I want to kick. Uh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Daddy Pig and Miss Rabbit are not following the rules. <gasps> referee! This duck is too sweet. Referee Peppa! Peppa is having so much fun, she's Ooh. forgotten all about the football match. Oops. Uh -huh. uh. <gasps> oh. Daddy, that's not how you play football. You're being a bit silly. I'm going to have to give you a red card. <laughs> Sorry, Pepper. I suppose we got a bit carried away. That's okay, Daddy. But I think it's your turn to referee now. <laughs> <laughs> a super strike for a super bowler. Today, Susie Sheep is having a bowling party. <laughs> I want to get a super strike too. I know how to do it. I've been bowling lots of times. Then you can show everyone what to do, Peppa. OK. We should take our pictures for the scoreboard. <laughs> Just step in front of the camera and say cheese. Cheese! Perfect. This is your bowling lane. Ooh. Now you shoot the bowling ball. Then you throw it straight ahead, like this. Yay! <laughs> I'm going to try. I like this one. The pink ball is very heavy. <laughs> try this one instead. It's lighter. Whoa! Crikey! Anyone lost a ball? Oh, no. I'll try next. Oh. Pedro Pony's ball has gone into the gutter at the side of the lane. Whoops! My turn. Whoa! Susie Sheep, Pedro Pony and Gerald Giraffe haven't quite got the hang of bowling yet. Don't worry. We need to find a better way to play. Hmm. Why don't you try with the barriers up this time? It's another fun way to play. Now you try, Pedro. OK, but I don't want my bowling ball to bounce. No problem. You can use a ramp to help the ball roll in a straight line. Fun! <laughs> Yay! Yay! 
Peppa and her friends are having lots of fun bowling in their own ways. But Susie Sheep still wants to get a super strike. All right, everyone. It's your last bowl. Good luck. <laughs> Watch this. Susie Sheep is bowling backwards. Oh. <gasps> a super strike for a super bowler. <laughs> Susie Sheep has got a super strike. Susie Sheep loves bowling. Everyone loves bowling. Today, Peppa and her playgroup are at a juice factory. They're learning how juice is made. And this is the fruit squeezer. It squeezes all the juice out of the oranges. Can I try squeezing oranges, Miss Rabbit? Of course, you can all try. Hooray! Everyone is having lots of fun squeezing the oranges. But it is very hard work. <laughs> My hands are tired. That's OK, because next up, we have the juice stomper. Oh. The stomper has big boots to stomp out all the juice from the strawberries. Can I try stomping, Miss Rabbit? Yes, everyone can try. Hooray! Pop these boots on and stomp away. <laughs> it's just like jumping in muddy puddles. Well done, everyone. Now follow me. This is where the juice is put into cartons. We have to match the flavour with the picture on the cartons. What flavour is this one? It's red. Is it strawberry? Well done, Mandy. Press the red button to fill it up. <laughs> and how about this one? It's green. So... Apple! <laughs> Spot on, Susie. And this one? It's lots of colour. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Peppa. You've created a brand new type of juice. It's rainbow juice. <laughs> Everyone thinks the rainbow juice looks very delicious indeed. This is the tasting room. It's where we make sure all the juice <laughs> tastes scrum diddly Ooh. But to make it fun, you have to guess what flavour each juice is. Peppa and her playgroup love tasting <laughs> juice. Ah, yum! This is orange uh -huh. juice. Mmm! <laughs> this is apple juice. Ah. Well, this tastes like all the juices at once. That's because it's your special rainbow <gasps> juice. Yum, yum, yum. Peppa loves learning about juice. And Peppa really loves her delicious <laughs> rainbow juice. Ooh. And that's how you play shuffleboard. My puck landed at the bottom, so I get one point. Hooray! Today on the cruise, Peppa and her family are learning to play shuffleboard. Now, Grandpa Pig can either knock my puck away or slide his into the triangle and get points. Let's give it a go. Grandpa Pig has knocked Granny Pig's puck into George's sand. That's two points for me. Can I try next? Yes, use this cue stick and push the puck into the triangle. Hmm. Oh, it didn't move very much. Why don't you try giving yourself a running start? Good idea. Peppa is taking a big oh. runner. But the sand oh. is very <laughs> slippery. Get any points. Not to worry. 
It's about having fun, not scoring points. Besides, no one is an expert their first time. <laughs> well Good show. done, George. I'll <laughs> just have to keep trying. <laughs> Pepper is trying lots of different ways of sliding the puck. Whoa! Oh, my ice cream! Aha! Uh -huh. uh -huh. But oh. nothing seems to be working. Ah! <laughs> uh. Ah! Uh. Ah! Uh. At least you missed my ice cream cone this time. Whoa. Oh dear. My turn, Pepper. Here you go, Granny. <sniffs> ah. Granny's puck has pushed Pepper's puck into the triangle. I got three points. Hooray! Pepper <laughs> is very excited ah. to keep practicing, but there are no pucks left to play with. Oh. <laughs> George has used them to complete his sandcastle. Everyone loves playing shuffleboard, but George loves making sandcastles even more. Today, Peppa and her family have been at the supermarket. Outside the supermarket is a toy machine. Yay! Ooh! Mandy Mouse has got a toy. Well done, Mandy. Peppa, George, would you like a go on the toy machine? Yes, please. How does it work, Miss Rabbit? You just buy a token and put it in the slot. Then a ball rolls all the way down to the bottom of the machine and there's a <laughs> special surprise toy inside. Dinosaur! George would like to get a dinosaur toy. How fun! You can have one try each. Here you go. Yay! <laughs> Yay! George's token makes the machine light up and play music. A ball rolls all the way down to the bottom. Whoa! Dinosaur! George has got a toy screwdriver. A screwdriver! How useful! Dinosaur. Don't worry, George. I'll try to get the dinosaur too. Now, Pepper's <laughs> token makes the machine light up and a different ball rolls all the way down to the bottom. <laughs> oh. Pepper hasn't got the dinosaur, but she has got some very nice stickers. Dinosaur. What lovely toys you got. <gasps> but look, our ice cream is starting to melt. So close. I have a feeling the dinosaur will come out next time. <laughs> Please, can we have one more go, Mummy? Please? Oh, go on then. <laughs> one more try. Hooray! <laughs> Peppa and George pull the lever on the toy machine. But this time, no balls pop out. Oh. <laughs> Oh dear, I wanted to see what toy you were going to get. Not to worry, <gasps> Mummy Pig. I can fix it. I just need to find my screwdriver. Nope. Nope. Screwdriver! <gasps> ah, thank you, George. <gasps> <gasps> Yay! <gasps> Whoops! Miss Rabbit has fixed the machine too much. Now all the balls have fallen out. I'd better put these back, but I think you earned this for helping me fix the machine. <gasps> Dinosaur! <laughs> Thank you, Miss Rabbit. This is for you. Eh? <laughs> Everyone loves the toy machine, and George really loves dinosaurs. A super strike for a super bowler! Today, Susie Sheep is having a bowling party. <laughs> I want to 
want to get a super strike too. I know how to do it. I've been bowling lots of times. Then you can show everyone what to do, Peppa. OK. We should take our pictures for the scoreboard. <laughs> Just step in front of the camera and say cheese. Cheese! Perfect. This is your bowling lane. Ooh. Now you shoot the bowling ball. Then you throw it straight ahead, like this. Yay! <laughs> I'm going to try. I like this one. The pink ball is very heavy. <laughs> try this one instead. It's lighter. Whoa! Crikey! Anyone lost a ball? Oh, no. I'll try next. Oh. Pedro Pony's ball has gone into the gutter at the side of the lane. Whoops! My turn. Whoa! Susie Sheep, Pedro Pony and Gerald Giraffe haven't quite got the hang of bowling yet. Don't worry. We need to find a better way to play. Hmm. Why don't you try with the barriers up this time? It's another fun way to play. Now you try, Pedro. OK, but I don't want my bowling ball to bounce. No problem. You can use a ramp to help the ball roll in a straight line. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Peppa and her friends are having lots of fun bowling in their own ways. <laughs> but Susie Sheep still wants to get a super strike. All right, everyone. It's your last bowl. Good luck. <laughs> Watch this. Susie Sheep is bowling backwards. Oh. <gasps> a super strike for a super bowler! Susie Sheep has got a super strike. Susie Sheep loves bowling. Everyone loves bowling. Peppa and her family are flying in an aeroplane. Woohoo! Yay! I love flying in aeroplanes. <laughs> But not everyone loves flying in aeroplanes. Oh, hello, Madam Gazelle. George and I love flying. <laughs> Do you love it too? Actually, I have never been on an aeroplane before. And I am scared. Huh? Oh. Oh. Hmm. Oh, I know what to do. Miss Rabbit, please can you make the plane go really, really high? I don't see why not. Oh. It's really fun when the plane goes high, Madam Gazelle. Look, we're nearly in space. Oh. Ah, too high! Too high! Oh. Can we go lower instead, Miss Rabbit? Certainly. Oh! Whee! <laughs> oh! Too low! Far too low! Hmm. Let's do a loop de loop. Oh! <laughs> I don't think that worked either, George. <gasps> Look, Madam Gazelle, oh. that cloud is shaped like a bird. Do you see? Yes, I see. Ooh. And that one is shaped like a relaxing desert island. Dinosaur! Oh. <laughs> oh, it's no good. 
I will just close my eyes and wait for this to be over. Oh, dear. Hello. Would you two like an activity book? They're lots of fun. Ooh. Oh, yes, please. Would you like to oh. do some colouring in with us, Madam Gazelle? Well, I suppose that might keep my mind off things. <laughs> And so Pepper, George and Madam Gazelle did some relaxing colouring for the rest of the flight. Look at these! The line work, the attention to detail. Incredible! A star plus! Oh, hooray! We've landed! Already? But I was having fun. That wasn't scary at all. I told you, flying is really fun. Thank you for helping me, Peppa and George. Now I cannot wait to fly home. <laughs> <laughs> Today, it is show and tell at Peppa's playgroup. <laughs> Keep practicing, Peppa. You'll get the hang of it soon. Thank you, Susie. You make a wonderful starfish. <laughs> now, it is Peppa's turn. I am the amazing Mysterio. And I am the amazing Peppa O. <laughs> And we are going to show you some really <laughs> magical magic. <laughs> ah! Amazing Mr. O, please pass me my top hat. Um, you're wearing it, Peppa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> now I will pull a toy rabbit out of it. <laughs> the toy rabbit is still on Peppa's head. Abracadabra biddly bop. <gasps> Daddy, I can't find the toy rabbit. <gasps> oh, there it is. Ta da! <laughs> Time for my next trick. Would you like some flowers, Madam Gazelle? I would love some, Pepper. For her next trick, Peppa is going to make some flowers appear. Abracadabra, biddly boy. <laughs> Abracadabra, biddly boy. Ho, 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 ho. That does tickle. Why don't you try the magic ring trick, Peppa? I mean, amazing Peppa, oh? Good idea, Daddy. Uh, I mean, Amazing Mysterio. Pepper <laughs> is going to make the two rings join together with magic. Abracadabra biddly bob. It is quite hard to magically join the rings together. <gasps> and a bit messy. I don't think I'm very good at magic, Daddy. Yes, you are. You're the amazing Peppa O. You can do it, Peppa. <laughs> okay, Daddy. <laughs> Abracadabra, biddly bang. <laughs> what a marvelous magic show! Well done, Peppa. You are a true magician. Thank you. And for our last trick, we will disappear. Bye bye. <gasps> Peppa loves magic tricks. Everyone loves magic tricks. Today is pancake day at Peppa's playground. Ah. It's an ice cream. Can we make other pancake pictures? Yes, we can. We just need more pancake mix. Yay! <laughs> Pepper pours flour into the bowl. <laughs> Candy Cat adds an egg to the mix. Wow! 
Danny Dog adds the milk. And Susie Sheep gives everything a good mix. <laughs> Madam Gazelle adds food colouring to the pancake mix so they can make colourful pancake pictures. Now we can draw any pancake picture we like in the cold pan before we cook the pancake. Can you add some pink here, Susie? <laughs> and some more over here? Wow! What's what it? it? Uh-huh. Hmm. <laughs> what are you drawing, Madam Gazelle? You'll see. Now the pan will get very hot. So you must step back for this bit, children. <laughs> oh! Peppa! The pancake looks just like Peppa. I'm Peppa Pancake. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm really yummy. Can we make a rainbow next? Why, of course. Peppa and her friends add all the colours of the rainbow. Red. Orange. Yellow. Green. Blue. <gasps> The rainbow pancake. <laughs> no, you haven't. All the blue has created a lovely blue sky. Colorful! Let's make the biggest pancake in the world. Hooray! Baking powder will give us the fluffiest pancake. Just a little will do. Madam Gazelle has added more than a little baking powder. The pancake is getting bigger and bigger. Oh dear. I'm not sure we can eat this, children. Aww. But it makes a great trampoline. Peppa loves Pancake Day. Everyone loves Pancake Day. There, there. Today, Peppa has found a video <gasps> of when she was a baby. <laughs> I was a very loud baby, wasn't I, Daddy? Ho, ho, yes. All babies are sometimes. Gosh, oh. that must have been when I was pregnant with George. Pregnant? What does that mean? <laughs> that means he was still in my tummy. <laughs> oh, I have an idea. <laughs> what are you doing, Peppa? Look, now there's a baby in my tummy too. Oh! <laughs> Very good, Peppa. Now, what do people with babies in their tummies do? Hmm, I used to get lots of funny cravings, which are when you really want to eat certain foods. Ooh. Ooh. Yum! Peppa has decided she has a craving too. I really want to eat... Oh! Spaghetti! <laughs> Peppa thinks cravings are delicious. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that was very yummy. What else happens when you have a baby in your tummy, Mummy? Well, I'd get tired a lot. So kind people would offer me their seat so I could sit down when I needed it. Hmm. <coughs> Hello, Peppa. I have a baby on my tummy and I'm very tired. So you need to give me your chair, please, Daddy. <laughs> Gosh. Righto, here you go. <laughs> <laughs> Whee! <laughs> and sometimes my feet would hurt. So Daddy Pig would give me foot rubs. <laughs> Peppa likes the sound of foot rubs. Daddy, my feet are hurting, so I need to have a foot rub, please. Oh, well, not a moment to lose. Oh, oh. <laughs> a little here and a little Daddy Pig's foot rubs are more Mr. like foot tickles. <laughs> oh. oh. There's one more thing that happened when Mummy Pig was pregnant. 
What was it? Eventually, Ooh. a baby came. Auntie Pig has brought Baby Alexander for a visit. Hi, Baby Alexander. I was pretending I had a baby oh. in my tummy. But now we can pretend that you're my baby. <laughs> Real babies are quite noisy, actually. So I think I'll keep my cushion instead. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and Pepper is having some delicious breakfast. Oh. What's happened to the cereal? <laughs> April Fools! <laughs> April Fools? What's that? Today is April Fools Day. It's a day where people make each other laugh by playing silly jokes. Like I just did with your cereal. I like silly jokes. Can we do one on Daddy? That's a great idea. Daddy Pig is reading on the sofa, but Mummy Pig and Pepper have come to play a joke on him. Could you please pass my glasses, Mummy Pig? Of course. <laughs> Pepper and Mummy Pig are playing a joke on Daddy Pig. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's strange. These glasses have made it even harder to see. April Fools! <laughs> <laughs> oh, these are joke glasses. Very funny. But you won't be able to play another joke on me. I am much too clever for that. Peppa <laughs> is playing another joke on Daddy Pig. Oh, no. Huh? I can't open this tube of crisps. Can you help me, Daddy? Of course, Pepper. Whoa! Oh, 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 oh. That gave me a fright. <laughs> April, April Fools! <laughs> you got me again, Pepper. Well done. <laughs> Would you like to help me play an April Fools' Day joke on Mummy Pig, Pepper? <laughs> Peppa and her family have finished dinner and are now eating dessert. <laughs> Aha! Me and Peppa have made a tasty chocolate cake for dessert, haven't we, Peppa? Yes. <laughs> How lovely! It looks delicious. <laughs> <laughs> My fork doesn't seem to work. <laughs> Try with your hands. Pepper and Daddy are playing a joke on Mummy Pig. <gasps> this isn't a cake. This is a sponge with icing on it. April, April Fools! Fools. <laughs> 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 oh, what a clever joke. That reminds me. George brought some biscuits for you, Pepper. <laughs> yeah! Thank you, George. I love biscuits. <laughs> April Fools! Pepper <laughs> loves April Fools' Day. Everyone loves it. Phew! Wow! Oh, oh good day! What's, What's this? this? Today is Arts and Crafts Day at Pepper's Playgroup. I have many fun <gasps> arts and crafts planned for today. First is painting. Ooh, but where are the brushes? They're right here. No one is sure what Madame Gazelle means. Where? <laughs> I don't see anything. We're doing finger painting. Instead of brushes, you paint with your hands. Hooray! Peppa and her playgroup are enjoying making their finger paintings. A lovely flower, Peppa. Thank you, Madame Gazelle. What a wonderful butterfly, Susie. <laughs> Thank you, Madame Gazelle. <laughs> and Danny, that's a marvellous puddle. Thank you, Madame Gazelle. Danny is jumping in his painting just like a real muddy puddle. Ah, brilliant idea, Danny. 
We'll do face painting next. Everyone is getting their face painted. Susie is a butterfly. Danny is a zebra. Freddy and Emily are a tiger and a fish. And Peppa is green. I'm green. <laughs> oh! That gives me a fantastic idea. Madame Gazelle has brought over a big ah. canvas with tape on it. What's that, Madame Gazelle? Why, it's a beautiful picture, of course. But I don't see a picture. That's because it's not finished. Each of you take a bottle of paint and splatter as much as you like onto this canvas. <laughs> well done, children. Get messy, have fun. Try not to spill on the floor. Everyone is having lots of fun painting on the big canvas. It's beautiful. I love it. Me too. Hmm. But I still don't see a picture. Aha! You will soon, Peppa. Madame Gazelle is taking the tape off the canvas. The tape has made the painting into the shape of... A, a star! star! Peppa loves the lovely star, and Peppa loves Arts and Crafts Day. Welcome to the ice cream shop. It is a very hot day, so Peppa and George are playing ice cream shop. Here you go, Mr Daddy Pig. Oh! Thank you. What would you like, Mrs. Mummy Pig? I'd like a banana split, please. Hooray! Oh. Ooh. What's a banana split, Granny? <laughs> it's a type of dessert. First, we need to cut a banana in half. Nana! Oh! Ho, 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 ho. Now we add ice cream, cherries, and whipped cream. George <laughs> likes adding the ice cream. Careful, don't squish the banana. <laughs> <laughs> and Peppa really likes adding whipped cream. <laughs> don't forget the cherry on top. Here is your banana split, Mrs. Mummy Pig. <laughs> This looks delicious. Oh, please could I have a Knickerbocker Glory? Uh -huh. A Knockanori? What's that, madam? Ho, ho, ho. Uh -huh. It's a type of ice cream sundae. Can you only eat them on Sundays? Oh. Ho, ho. Not that type of sundae. You can eat them any time. Uh -huh. I'll show you. Aha. We need ice cream, fruit, meringue, and cream. <laughs> Peppa and George add all the ingredients into the glass. Oh. And now you can decorate the top. Yay. Then decorate with wafers, colourful sprinkles, and sauce. Here you are, ah, madam. This looks wonderful. Now everyone has been served, what kind of ice cream would you two like? Hmm, a rainbow <laughs> one. Rainbow. Peppa and George use lots of different <laughs> coloured ice cream. Pink for strawberry, brown for chocolate, yellow for <laughs> banana. Nana. Then they add their toppings. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Let's mix it all together. <gasps> um. <laughs> 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 oh. Peppa and George have mixed all the colours together. We've made a muddy puddle. Ah. Not rainbow ice cream. I'm afraid we don't have much ice cream left. All we have is... Vanilla. My favourite. <laughs> Peppa and George like making special ice creams, but they love vanilla ice cream the most. <laughs> Peppa and Susie are pretending to be police officers. Police, we'll help yeah. you. <laughs> Thanks, police officers. You're welcome. 
Now we must get back to solving crimes. Nino! Bye. Nino! Oh, my! What is it, Madam Gazelle? I think my special pen has gone missing. <gasps> this sounds like a mystery. Ah. Don't worry. Me and Police Officer Susie will solve the case. <laughs> Peppa and Susie are looking for clues to find the special <laughs> pen. They're using a magnifying glass to make small things look bigger. Aha! Purple. That's the oh. same colour oh. as Danny oh. Dog's T-shirt. <gasps> Have you oh. seen the special pen, Danny? I don't think so. Well, we'd better take you to the police station to ask you some questions. Peppa and Susie have made a pretend police station so they can ask everyone questions about the missing pen. <laughs> it's made from books and pillows. This police station doesn't even have doors. It's a nice place to read, though. Peppa and Susie are asking everybody about the special pen. Oh. They've brought Candy Cat to the pretend police station. Candy Cat, can you remember what colour the special pen is? Hmm, red? No, green. Actually, pink. No, uh, blue. Aha, uh -huh. you've been very helpful. Let's take a big look around. The special blue pen must be <gasps> hidden somewhere. Pepper and Susie are searching everywhere for the special pen. Ah! Oh, but they can't find it anywhere. <laughs> I can't find it anywhere. Hmm, I have an idea. Now, Madam Gazelle is answering questions at the pretend police station. Did you last see your pen, Madam Gazelle? Well, let's see. I used it this morning. Then I put it behind my ear. Oh, my! Yay! Madam Gazelle's special <laughs> pen has been behind her ear all along. We found it. <laughs> we solved the mystery. <laughs> Hooray! Thank you for helping me, Peppa and Susie. I think you would make very good police <gasps> officers. <laughs> Today, Peppa and her family have come to London to watch Super Potato, the musical. Goodness, we better get walking or we'll miss the start of the show. Oh no, we're going to get all wet. Not to worry, we can take the underground train instead. Hooray! The underground train is underground. <laughs> it never rains underground. <laughs> and there is a colourful map that shows where all the trains go. It looks like spaghetti. So, we are here. And we need to get here. We can take the blue train first. And then... Take the red train. Yes. Well done, Pepper. Off we go. First, Pepper must have her ticket checked by the ticket barrier. <laughs> Thank you, ticket robot. I'm stuck. Hold tight, Pepper. I'll get you out. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. This way, Pepper. Follow the blue line, everyone. Um, I'm stuck too. <laughs> the train is arriving at the platform from a very dark tunnel. The train is very, very busy. Why is everybody rushing? They are in a hurry. Everyone on the underground train is in a hurry. On we go. Watch your step, everyone. Hello, everyone. Welcome aboard the blue train. Mind the doors. Hold on, Pepper. The underground train is very bumpy. <laughs> <laughs> on your left, you'll see under the ground. And on your right, you'll see even more under the ground. Change here for the red train. 
The red train, that's us. Watch your step, George. Hold tight, everyone. <laughs> we're here, we're here. The show starts in a few minutes. We might miss the beginning. Oh, no, you won't. Follow me. I'll get you to Super Potato the Musical on time, or my name isn't... Super Potato! Hooray! <laughs> Big celebrity coming through! Make way for the star, thank you. <laughs> no autographs today. Super Potato is in a hurry, too. Everyone on the underground train is in a hurry. Today is Pancake Day at Peppa's Playgroup. Ah! the pancake pictures? Yes, we can! We just need more pancake mix. Yay! <laughs> Pepper pours flour into the bowl. <laughs> Candy Cat adds an egg to the mix. Wow! Danny Dog adds the milk. And Susie Sheep gives everything a good mix. <laughs> Madam Gazelle adds food colouring to the pancake mix so they can make colourful pancake pictures. Now we can draw any pancake picture we like in the cold pan before we cook the pancake. Can you add some pink here, Susie? <laughs> and some more over here? Wow! What is it? Uh-huh. <laughs> what are you drawing, Madam Gazelle? You'll see. Now the pan will get very hot. So you must step back for this bit, children. <laughs> oh! Peppa! The pancake looks just like Peppa. I'm Peppa Pancake. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm really yummy. Can we make a rainbow next? Why, of course. Peppa and her friends add all the colours of the rainbow. Red. Orange. Yellow. Green. Blue. The rainbow pancake. <laughs> no, you haven't. All the blue has created a lovely blue sky. Lovely. Let's make the biggest pancake in the world. Hooray! Baking powder will give us the fluffiest pancake. Just a little will do. Madame Gazelle has added more than a little baking powder. The pancake is getting bigger and bigger. Oh dear. I'm not sure we can eat this, children. Aww. But it makes a great trampoline. Peppa loves Pancake Day. Everyone loves Pancake Day. Stop! Today, Peppa and her family are walking to the duck pond. But there's a big metal barrier in the way. Sorry, folks. The path is closed. But we're almost at the pond. Huh? I'm afraid it's much too slippy. Whoa! Just follow the diversion signs with the bright red arrows. Won't take you long. A diversion is when you have to go a different way. Come on, everyone. It'll be an adventure. See you soon, ducks. <laughs> Here it is. Oh. Peppa has found the first bright red arrow. 
<laughs> and another. Huh. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> and another. <gasps> mm. <Ooh. gasps> <laughs> but the next sign has fallen down. Wakey, wakey, Mr. Sign. Ooh. Nobody knows which way to go. Hmm. Do we go left or right? The right way sounds right. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> uh, are we lost? We're not lost. We just don't know where we are. When you don't know where you are, you are probably lost. Uh... Um... Look, oh. a duck. Hello, duck. <laughs> Excuse me, Mrs. Duck. Do you know where the duck pond is? What a spot of luck. Lead the way, duck. This is a duck trail, Daddy. We must all waddle like ducks. We're going to the duck pond, big wiggle whack. We're going to see the ducks go quack, quack, quack. We're, We're going, going to, to the duck, duck pond, big wiggle whack. We're, We're going, going to see the ducks go quack, quack, quack. Peppa and her family have made it to the duck pond. We did it! Yay! You took your time! I bet you're glad you took the diversion. Yes. It was much more fun. Whoa! <laughs> and much less slippery. A mummy pig is going for a relaxing day at the spa. <laughs> Oh, sorry, Mummy Pig. I've got to close early today. I've got the sniffles. Oh, I was really looking forward to my spa day. Why don't we make a spa at home? Oh, that's a great idea, Peppa. Peppa is very good at having ideas. Hello, Mrs Mummy. Welcome to the spa. Oh, <laughs> Pepper has turned the living room into a very wow. special spa. First, we are going to, um... What happens at the spa, Mummy? Well, we normally start with a nice cup of lemon water. I can do that. I'll get you some lemony water, <laughs> Mrs Mummy. Here you go. Oh. <laughs> oh. Mmm, thank you, Peppa. This is the lemoniest water I've ever seen. What's next? Next, I'd like to have a foot bath. Yay! Hooray! What's a foot bath? It's a very small bath just for your feet. OK, <laughs> time for your very small bath just for your feet, Mrs Mummy. Come on, Daddy! <laughs> Peppa and Daddy Pig are making their very own foot bath. This ought to do the trick. <laughs> ah, that's so relaxing. <gasps> Peppa has turned the foot bath into a regular bath. <laughs> Here are the boats you ordered, Miss Peppa. <laughs> you have to have bubbles and toys in the bath. <laughs> Wonderful! I'll suggest this to Miss Rabbit. What's next, Mummy? Next, it's time for a massage. Uh, um... Here, lie down on the sofa and I'll show you how it works. Peppa finds the massage very tickly. Your turn, Mummy. Ooh, <laughs> it's <laughs> very different to my normal massage. It's a special pepper <laughs> massage. Choo choo. Now, the last thing I do at the spa is have a mud mask, which is... A mask made of mud. Yes, a special spa mud that's good for your skin. I don't think we have any special spa mud here, though. I've got an idea. Pepper is very, very good at having ideas. 
We don't need spa mud when we've got muddy puddles. <laughs> <laughs> They're just like muddy puddle face masks. <laughs> Peppa loves a spa day, especially when it involves jumping in muddy puddles. Whee! It is bedtime, Whee! but George isn't sleeping, so neither are Peppa or Daddy Pig. What now? We've already read every bedtime story. There is one book we haven't read. I've been saving it for an emergency. The very long and very boring story to help sleepy pigs fall asleep. The very long and very boring story to help sleepy pigs fall asleep? Yes, the very long and very boring story to help sleepy pigs fall asleep. Oh! <laughs> Dory! Once upon a time, there was a hero named... Super Peppa! <laughs> um, yes, Super Peppa. Whee! She spent all her days helping the people in her neighborhood. <laughs> Until one day she heard about a jumping giant who wouldn't stop shaking the town. The giant won't stop jumping. I'll help you. Super Pepper found the jumping <laughs> giant. Dinosaur. Oh, yes, George, the jumping dinosaur. Super Pepper tried everything she could to stop the jumping dinosaur from jumping. Like asking him very politely? Yes. Uh, excuse me. Mr. Dinosaur, sir. Excuse me. They tried some bedtime music. This will put him to sleep. <sighs> so relaxed. But the music only gave the dinosaur more energy. Super Pepper tried giving the jumping dinosaur a warm bath. Oh! <laughs> Whoa! She tried giving him cozy pajamas. She even tried counting stars. One, two, three, four, five! Everything we did. There's nothing left to try. <sighs> the bedtime story has helped George fall asleep. Hooray! Thank you for your help, Peppa. Sweet dreams. Thank you, Daddy Bert. Now I'm not tired. Can you finish <sighs> the story? Yummy, tasty food. Yummy, tasty Today on the cruise, yum, Peppa yum. and her family are at a very special yeah. type of restaurant. This is a special type of restaurant called a buffet. Just take a plate and choose the food you want to eat. Enjoy! Oh, oh goody! The restaurant mm. buffet has lots of different foods to choose from. What would you like to eat, Peppa? Spaghetti is my favourite. Right you are. But we mustn't take too much. We can always come back and get some more. Oh, good idea. <laughs> and what would you like, George? Juice! Thirsty, are you? <laughs> I think we can rustle up some orange juice. <laughs> Let's see here. Aha! Ooh. The orange juice machine is very loud. And it hasn't made very much orange juice at all. Oh. <laughs> juice! We'll just have to make some more. <laughs> Delicious. I can't wait to... Finished. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you were hungry, Pepper. Can I get some more now, please? Oh. Of course. Let's go. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs>
Grandpa Pig is still trying to make George a cup of orange juice. Oh dear. Could we have some more oranges, please, Miss Rabbit? Right away. Ooh. Peppa has found a very special pancake machine. Just one pancake, please, Mr. Robot. I can always come back and get more. Mm -hmm. Splendid. Aha! Granny Pig is ah. very excited to eat her spaghetti. Ah. Finished. Oh. Thank you, Pancake Robot. But now, Peppa is thirsty uh, too. Can I get some juice as well, Granny? Of course. Grandpa Pig can get you some. I do wonder what's ah. taking him so long. Mmm. <gasps> Grandpa Pig has finally made a cup of orange juice. In fact, Grandpa Pig has made lots of cups of orange juice. Oh. The machine has finally stopped oh. making orange juice. Phew. Silly Grandpa. You don't need to make all the juice. You can always come back and get more. Peppa loves the buffet restaurant. Mm. And George really <laughs> loves orange juice. <gasps> Peppa and Emily Elephant are having lots of fun at the beach today. They love the water. <laughs> Look, Emily, I'm a fish. <gasps> blub, blub, blub. <laughs> I have an idea. <gasps> There's so many fish, Peppa. <gasps> How did you do that, Emily? Did you hold your breath? <laughs> no. I can use my trunk to breathe because it's so long. Oh. What's the matter, Pepper? I wish I had a trunk like Emily, so I could breathe underwater and look at the fish. I know. Come with me, Pepper. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> this long tube goes in your mouth and means you can breathe underwater. Like Emily's trunk. <laughs> <laughs> exactly like Emily's trunk. <laughs> Why does your voice sound funny, Peppa? It's my snorkel. It means I can breathe underwater like you. Look. <gasps> no, Peppa. Yuck. Oh, Peppa, you must be careful. Yuck. The snorkel didn't work. And the water tasted horrible. That's because it's salt water, Peppa. You need to keep your lips shut tight around the snorkel so you can breathe through your mouth without letting water in. You have to take long, deep breaths like this. <sighs> Peppa practices taking big, deep breaths. Do you want to try again? Um, OK. <gasps> I did it! I saw lots of colourful fish! Yes, well done! And thank you for helping her, Emily. <laughs> And to get rid of the taste of the salty water, George and I thought you might like some... Ice cream! Yay! <laughs> Peppa and her family are out in the car. Oh, But they're having a bit of trouble. Oh, dear. The car won't start. You've broken down. Oh. Don't worry. I'll take you to the garage. I'll be back in a jiffy. <laughs> Mr. Bull is towing the car away to be fixed. George and Pepper like being towed. Hmm. Aha! Oh dear. 
I see. Well, we can fix it. Oh, good. But we'll have to order a new part. It won't be easy or cheap. Oh, oh dear. How long will it take? It will take oh, as long as it takes. But how will I get to work? There's lots of cars you can use while yours is being fixed. Follow me. There's lots of spare cars at the garage. Pick any one you like. <gasps> A motorbike. This is perfect. Oh. Let's take it for a test drive. Daddy Pig likes riding the motorbike. Hello. But motorbikes don't keep you dry in the rain. Hmm, maybe we need something a bit tougher. Let's try this. Pepper has found a monster truck, which is very tough. I think a monster truck might be a bit too tough for what we need. Sorry. What about something nice and spacious, like this mm. bus? <laughs> ah. Mummy Pig likes the bus very much. Ooh. Ah. It's ever so roomy and peaceful. Oh, dear. But everyone thinks it's a real bus. There's only one car left for Peppa and her family to try. It's a bit smelly. That's because it's my lorry for collecting the recycling. So you can't take that one, I'm afraid. I'm not sure we'll ever find a car as perfect as our car. <laughs> well, that's lucky. You took so long to pick a new car that we managed to fix your old one. Hooray! <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Bull. Thank you, Grandad Dog. <laughs> Pepper's family like driving different cars, but they like driving their family car most of all. Today, Pepper and George are helping Daddy Pig tidy some old boxes. <laughs> What's this, Daddy? Ah, that's my trusty old camera, Pepper. You press the button to take a picture. Cheese. And it prints the photo out. Look! I can see it. Can I have a go, please? <laughs> Say cheese. Cheese. Now Peppa is taking photos with the camera. This camera is really fun. Camera. <laughs> have fun. But there isn't much photo paper left, so use it wisely. George loves taking lots of photos. <laughs> oh dear, it's run out of photo paper. Oh, but I love taking pictures. Hmm. Why don't we use my phone's camera instead? It can even add filters to a photo. <laughs> Daddy Pig's phone camera has given George a pretend moustache. <laughs> Come on, George. Let's take more photos. Peppa and George are having lots of fun taking pictures. The phone camera has given Mummy Pig a flowery filter. Say cheese. Oh. And Grandpa Pig has a very fine hat. <laughs> Pepper, George and Daddy Pig have come to the park to take even more photos. <laughs> Hello, Mr and Mrs Bird. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Cheese! <laughs> what a funny photo! Daddy Pig wants to take a photo with Pepper and George by the ducks. Say cheese, everybody! One, two, three, cheese! <laughs> 
Peppa and George are sticking all the photos from the day <laughs> into a scrapbook. Look at this one, George. Bye! But some of the photos are blurry. Oh. The photos don't have to be perfect. They just have to remind you of a lovely day. Everyone loves taking photos and everyone has had a very lovely day. Peppa and Rebecca Rabbit are making a pillow fort today. Careful, don't fall on the fort. Almost got it. Whoa. Squeak. We did it. Now we need to decorate the inside. Uh, hmm. Something else is missing. Oh! oh something, something to eat! eat. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy! What a beautiful pillow fort! Can we have something to eat, please? Of course! I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Let's pretend the pillow fort is really big inside. <laughs> Wow! <laughs> Catch, Peppa! <laughs> Let's pretend the floor is really bouncy, like a trampoline. Squeak! <laughs> it's so bouncy! <laughs> oh no! The ball bounced over there. Let's bounce after it. Uh, uh. This floor is green, so let's pretend it's squelchy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the ball isn't here. Maybe over there. <laughs> <laughs> this room is blue, so let's pretend it's cold. <laughs> There's the ball. Hooray! L let's get out of here. Um, which way did we c come in? Peppa, where are you? We're lost in the pillow fort. I'll come get you. No, Mummy. The fort isn't built for grown-ups. <laughs> oh, I can fit through anything. Uh, uh. Mummy Pig is stuck. Oh. Uh, uh. Mummy, your wiggles are breaking the fall. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Phew. Ooh. All that pretending has made me even more hungry. Good thing I brought you some food. Now, we just need to find it under these pillows. <laughs> <laughs> Baby Alexander and his family have come to say Happy Christmas. But Baby Alexander isn't happy at all. Why is Baby Alexander crying? Christmas is fun. Well, this is Baby Alexander's first Christmas. He doesn't know how fun it can be yet. Then it's got to be extra special. I'll show him all my favourite Christmassy things. I love Christmas dinner. It has carrot, potato, sprouts. <laughs> no, you're supposed to eat it, not throw it. Let's try something else. Wrapping present is really fun. You can put the bow on top. <laughs> no, we need to wrap them up so other people can open them. Alexander thinks unwrapping presents is much more fun than wrapping them. Hmm. 
I don't think Alexander likes Christmas at all. Really? He's been having fun with you all day. But I wanted it to be extra special for him. Spending Christmas with his cousin is extra special, Peppa. But he's doing it all wrong. Alexander is just a baby. Maybe you need to find some simple things he can do right. Christmas for babies. Oh, I have some ideas. <laughs> Baby Alexander enjoys passing out the Christmas presents. Thank you, Alexander. This one's for Mummy. And he really likes Christmas crafts. <laughs> well done, Alexander. And music. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride on a one-horse open sleigh. Hooray! But he enjoys spending Christmas with Peppa most of all. Now we'll always remember Alexander's first Christmas. <laughs> The power of vegetables! I am here! One moment! Whoa. Um, now I am here! Wow! Whoa. It is I, the superest superhero ever! And I've come here to teach you all how to be superheroes too! Hooray! Peppa and her playgroup are all dressed as superheroes. Your first lesson of superhero school is to use your superhero powers to do something kind for the world. <gasps> <laughs> Susie is being kind to the worm by helping to dig its hole. Freddy is being kind to the plant by watering it. And Pepper is being kind to the whole world by making sure all the rubbish is recycled and not on the floor. You all did so well in your first lesson. The next lesson in superhero school is to finish this obstacle course and save Madame Gazelle from the supervillains. On your marks, get set, go! But everyone is too tired to run. We're all puffed out. Why can't we run fast and be super strong? Aren't we superheroes? Hmm. I've got it. Has anyone had any fruits or vegetables today? Mm -hmm. I didn't want to eat my carrots today. And I left my apple in my lunchbox. Aha! Fruits and vegetables help us stay healthy and give us super energy. Superheroes must have lots of energy to run and jump. Madame Gazelle has set up a table with plates of delicious fruits and vegetables to eat. Peppa and her friends have eaten their fruits and vegetables. Now they have lots of super energy and are ready to try again. We're here to save you! My heroes! My super heroes! Congratulations! You have all been super today! And every superhero gets a hero's reward. What would you like? Are there any more carrots? By the power of fruits and vegetables, Peppa and her playgroup have saved the day. <gasps> that car went really fast. Don't worry. This is why it's very important to stop, look, listen, and always wait for the green man before crossing the road. The green man! Remember what we learned, children? Stop, look and listen. All clear, no cars. Let's go. 
It's safe to cross now. Peppa and her playgroup are learning about road safety today. Hello, Daddy. Hello, Peppa. Peppa's playgroup. Hello, Daddy Pig. Oh, green light. Well, see you later, Peppa. Thank you for helping us, Police Officer Panda. All in a day's work. Pepper is helping Police Officer Panda make sure everyone follows road safety rules. No, no, no. Emily, you need to stay on your side of the road. Sorry, Pepper, My wheel is stuck. We'll come help you. Wee-oo, wee-oo, wee-oo. <laughs> We're keeping the road safe for cars and people. <gasps> Pedro hasn't noticed that Green Man has turned to red. Pedro, the red man means don't walk. <laughs> Thanks, Peppa. All in a day's work. <gasps> Wait a minute, Freddy is dressed as a robber. We have to catch the robber. Wee -oo, wee -oo, wee -oo. Oh, the red light means stop. There he goes. Now we've got him. Freddy, are you dressed as a robber because you are a robber? No, I just like stripes. Oh, so you're not a robber? Nope. Oh, well, you can go then, but not so fast. OK, bye, Peppa. Ooh. Great work, Officer Peppa. Everyone is remembering to stop, look and listen and only walk when they see... The Green Man! That means we can go! All in a day's work, Officer Panda. Peppa loves keeping everyone safe, and everyone <laughs> loves feeling safe. <gasps> Peppa and Emily Elephant are having lots of fun at the beach today. They love the water. <laughs> Look, Emily, I'm a fish. <gasps> blob, blob, blob. <laughs> I have an idea. <gasps> There's so many fish, Peppa. <gasps> How did you do that, Emily? Did you hold your breath? <laughs> no. I can use my trunk to breathe because it's so long. <gasps> What's the matter, Peppa? I wish I had a trunk like Emily, so I could breathe underwater and look at the fish. I know. <gasps> Come with me, Peppa. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> this long tube goes in your mouth and means you can breathe underwater. Like Emily's trunk. <laughs> exactly like Emily's trunk. <laughs> Why does your voice sound funny, Peppa? It's my snorkel. It means I can breathe underwater like you. Look. <gasps> no, Peppa. Yuck. Oh, Peppa, you must be careful. <laughs> The snorkel didn't work. And the water tasted horrible. That's because it's salt water, Peppa. You need to keep your lips shut tight around the snorkel so you can breathe through your mouth without letting water in. You have to take long, deep breaths like this. <sighs> Peppa practices taking big, deep breaths. Do you want to try again? Um, OK. I did it! I saw lots 
lots of colourful fish. Yes, well done. And thank you for helping her, Emily. <laughs> and to get rid of the taste of the salty water, George and I thought you might like some... Ice cream! Today, Pepper and George are going for a picnic with <laughs> Granny and Grandpa Pig. <laughs> Nearly there! <laughs> it's Pepper's first time being in charge of packing the picnic. Are you okay, Pepper? I need to bring all my toys for the picnic, but they won't fit. Hmm, do you need all of your toys? Uh. I know. I can just bring Teddy instead. Dinosaur! <laughs> and dinosaur. Wonderful. We won't have space for the food if we bring all your toys. What kind of food would you like to make for the picnic, Pepper? Oh, let's make spaghetti. I love spaghetti. Spaghetti is not very good picnic food. How about sandwiches? I love sandwiches too. <laughs> what is your favourite kind of sandwich? Jam! <laughs> Pepper, George and Granny Pig are making Yay! jam sandwiches. Will we need anything else for the picnic, Pepper? Um, we need a comfy picnic blanket. Can you find one, Grandpa? Aye, aye, Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! Making jam sandwiches is very messy. And cleaning the mess has made an even bigger mess. Not to worry. You can't make jam sandwiches without getting a little jammy. <laughs> Pepper's sandwiches are triangles. Ta da! And George's are dinosaurs. <laughs> Got the blanket. Ah. Do we need anything else, Pepper? Hmm. We need cups for our orange juice. Well done, Pepper. Looks like we're ready to go. This is going to be so oh. much fun. Oh no, it's raining. Picnics are not as fun in the rain. Oh dear, I think our outdoor picnic will have to wait, oh. Pepper. Oh. But why don't we have an indoor picnic instead? Yay! Pepper has set up her picnic indoors. Now we can have a picnic even when it's raining. And all my toys can come too. Picnic! <laughs> Everyone loves Pepper's picnic and Pepper loved packing it for them. <laughs> Whoa! Today, Pepper and her playgroup are on a trip to a bug museum. Follow me, everyone. <laughs> oh. Squeak! Big bugs! This room is all about ants. It even has some big robotic ants to look at. Don't worry, it's not a real ant. It's a big robot. Ooh, I love robots. Ants work together as a team to bring food to their queen. Would you like to try being ants? Can I be the queen? Yes! Yes! Yay! Yay! <laughs> Pepper's friends are racing against the ants. They have to get the foam leaf to Queen Pepper. <laughs> Well done, everyone. You worked as a team just like ants. Ah. This room is all about bees. It even has bee <laughs> costumes for dressing up. <laughs> you look the bee's knees. Can you find your way through the beehive like real bees? Bzz, bzz. Well, go. 
Everyone loves being bees, but the beehive is very confusing. They're lost. <laughs> bees follow the sun to find their way. Buzz! We can follow the sun too. <laughs> Everyone is following the sun to find their way, just like real bees. Beautiful work, everyone! <laughs> the last room has something very special inside. Squeak! It's so pretty! But nobody knows what it is. Inside is something very colourful. Is it a parrot? Quack! It has big wings. Or a dragon? Rawr! And it used to be a caterpillar. Hmm. Wow. It's a <gasps> butterfly. Peppa and her friends love learning about all the bugs at the big bug museum. Pepper and Susie Sheep have decided to wear their clothes backwards today. Oh! <laughs> Goodbye, Susie! Goodbye, Pepper! Oh! Hmm. Pepper, Susie, why are you wearing your clothes backwards? <laughs> oh. <laughs> and why are you walking backwards? Because today is Backwards Day! You say and do everything backwards! <laughs> no, we don't! <laughs> <laughs> well, have fun! <laughs> we won't! <laughs> Peppa and Susie Sheep are chasing each other around the garden backwards. <laughs> You're it! Try to catch me! <laughs> it's very difficult to play games backwards. Where did you go, Susie? Ooh. Coming! <laughs> oh. I know! Let's play backwards in the park! <laughs> <laughs> Mr Bull is very confused to see Pepper and oh. Susie Sheep skipping backwards. Good morning! Why are you going backwards? It's backwards day! We have to do everything backwards! Is it backwards day already? <laughs> I'd better get my backwards drills ready! <laughs> oh, whoa! Whoa! Whoops! Sorry! Pepper and Susie Sheep spend backwards day playing in the park. Backward swinging feels the same as forward. But not all the games are as fun backwards. This is backwards. No, this is backwards. Let's play backwards frisbee. Catch. <laughs> Who would like an ice cream? Yay! Oops, we mean no. I see you're having a fun backwards day. Ah. <laughs> I'm going to eat my ice cream backwards. Oops. <laughs> Upside down isn't quite the same as backwards. It's all very confusing. I think backwards day might be over now. Peppa and Susie <laughs> Sheep enjoyed Backwards Day, but they're very glad that things aren't backwards anymore. <laughs> Peppa is having lots of fun playing in the snow with her friends. <laughs> That's cold. But every game they play seems to cover them in cold snow. Whee! Hello, Daddy. Peppa, you're covered in snow. I think it's time to come inside and warm up, or you'll turn into a snow monster. <laughs> 
snow monsters don't exist, Daddy. Can we play for five ah. more minutes? Please? Oh, all right then. Five more mi... Yay! <laughs> oh, 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 dear. Peppa and her friends play lots of games in the snow. They aren't worried about turning into snow monsters at all. Let's play snowballs. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> You'll never get me, Peppa! <laughs> what was that noise? It sounded like... Has anybody seen my glasses? A, A snow, snow monster! monster. <laughs> Quick! Let's hide. Oh, dear. Let's hide here. Phew! The snow monster won't find us here. <gasps> ah! The snow monster has found them. Papa, it's me! <laughs> oh, that's not a snow monster. <laughs> Daddy Pig! <laughs> <laughs> I told you there was no such thing as snow monsters. Come on, Daddy. We'll make you warm again and melt all this snow. And look for my glasses on the way. Oh. Your glasses! Hooray! Thank you, Susie. Daddy Pig is very glad to be back home oh. in the world. He's not a snow monster anymore. <laughs> Everyone is warming up inside with hot chocolate. Ah. Ah. Even snow monsters like hot chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> Go long, Pepper! Today, Pepper and her playgroup are learning about American Daddy, football. You. It's a very bouncy egg. <laughs> this is not an egg. This is a football. No! Footballs are round. And you don't throw them, you kick them. This is a special football from America. American footballs are egg-shaped. And you mostly throw them. Egg ball. <laughs> egg ball! Egg ball! Egg ball! Egg ball! <laughs> Peppa and her playgroup are dressed in American football kit. You all look great in your kit, especially you, Pedro. Every team needs a mascot. Now you're ready to play American football. Um, I mean, egg ball. Egg ball! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> to win points in uh, egg ball, you have to be really good at catching the ball. <laughs> You can also get points by kicking the ball through a big goal like this one. Ooh! Peppa, would you like to kick the ball into the goal? Kicking? Like normal football. I'm good at that. <laughs> I don't think egg ball is as fun as normal football. Susie, would you like a turn? Peppa has caught 
the ball. So she gets a point. I did it! Now for the best part of American football. I mean, egg ball. <laughs> After you score a point, you do a dance. Peppa and her friends love egg ball. Everyone loves egg ball. 